so thank you. I'm very grateful for being here. So um, as I explored my in my submission, our digital network can increase the scope of opportunities in the business world. We should seek to digitally connect enterprises so they can gain from each other's uh, downtimes and excesses, and therefore we can gain from the wasted potential in enterprises. So I think that it's important to first define what I consider as wasted potential because it could be, from, be seen from many ways. So um, it could be a period when uh, a company can provide an STG service, STG standing for stores, transportation and goods. So companies should, uh, should have an easy way, a secure a non-intrusive way of uh, informing other companies that they can provide this type of services and also gain from it. Wasted potential could also be seen as uh, the inability to hire uh, a service from, from a company due to some certain factors like financial factors. And in some cases, that could be a, a barrier for further development of a company. And it could be even related to the lack of connectivity between enterprises. Um, because in the, the world of tomorrow, enterprises should be more like digitally connected so new opportunities arise new relationships can arise new jobs can arise and they should belong to a more interconnected environment and acknowledge each other more so this is like the the fuel for this application i propose and the the, the what i've seen as wasted potential the, the application intends to be an stg oriented digital application and uh, it channels the waste potential in enterprises. It does that by matching their needs and their capacities. So um, it's not a market, and the, the main objective is not to, for companies that join to, to migrate their, their, their services for this application and just continuously uh, sell a service or promote their brand. So that's not the main purpose. Uh, also, the assuring that the security is, is, of course, crucial. So. At the same time, companies should have uh, an easy way to, to be connected, but they should also have their affairs remain private. So information should be selectively revealed between the involved companies, um, and the, the, the companies shouldn't access other companies' past matches. Also, um, the money is not the basis of the, the business deal that happened because the, the ultimate approach would be to have a uh, service for service approach. Um, so uh, the application at the first stage would simply work as a matchmaker that matches the, the companies together, but in a, in a later stage, there should be established a, um, a conversion system that checks how valuable is a service in relation to another in a standardized service uh, comparison system, and then it automatically outputs a win-win deal for both or for the companies involved. So in terms of classifying companies, they can be of type A or type B, depending uniquely on the, the type of service they provide. If they provide an STG service or storage, or transportation or goods, they're a type A company. And since that is the core of the application, the every match needs one of the companies to be a type A company. The other company that is matched with a type A company can be a type A company also or a type B if they provide a, a, a service that is not an STG service, like a, a marketing company, um, a consulting firm, a technological solutions company, etc. So in terms of matching, enterprises need to provide uh, their availability to be matched. So the, the algorithm has them in consideration, and they also need to provide some specifications regarding the service they need and the service the, the, they, they can offer. So th those specifications like, can be like storage space, um, can be uh, the, the time when they can offer the service, for example, or the amount of inactive transportation vehicles they have. So uh, as you can see on the picture at your, uh, as you can see on the picture, the, the, the algorithm is centered on the, uh, on the type A enterprises and tends to match those enterprises with the other available enterprises, having the, some specifications in mind. Um, some of these factors that influence the algorithm are not directly manipulated by the enterprises, um, like the distance, the, the reputation, and the timer. So distance is, of course, important in terms of, of, of wasted uh, time and money. So closer matches are a priority. Um, and then the, the, the reputation is a system uh, that allows companies to evaluate each other's uh, services so that they can show their satisfaction or they, their, 
the displeasure regarding the other the match service and this forces a standard of quality between all the companies involved and the timer is a method that forces enterprises to become unavailable after they've been recently matched um, so this is a limiting factor but it also ensures that all companies can eventually be matched in a certain geographical scope and no company uses the application to purposely and continuously uh, sell a service as I, I've talked before. So in terms of advantages and obstacles to implementation, this is a, a great way to benefit from wasted potential and of course having a sharing mindset behind. So as you, as you know, the, the sharing mindset adapts very well to our reality where some entities have something in excess and uh, instead of creating more waste, we just redirect them. So it's, it's a good approach if you see it this way. It also allows to, 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 for enterprises to belong to a more interconnected environment and allow, allows to keep them connected and, and uh, having their needs fulfilled in real time. And it has a considerable scalability potential because uh, as more companies join the network, their needs can be fulfilled much more efficiently. However, it's of course a complex implementation, uh, uh, a disruptive implementation, I would say, and it is dependent on many variables, like the, um, the modeling of a fair but efficient matching algorithm. And of course, there is still the, the, the fear from innovation mentality in many companies uh, from these disruptive ideas that can have benefits. But fortunately, more and more companies um, see these new ideas as, as an attempt to, to improve their business and this fear mentality is disappearing over time. So that is all. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you.